In this lecture, we are going to talk about what is a test fixture. We have already looked at this four-bar test by Java in previous lecture. Java JUnion test fixture. This is one of the example, and we have already explained the execution floor for the before class and then before test after, before test after, before test after. And then at the end, we have the after class. We have already explained this execution floor, and we will look at this program from a different angle. This is one of the test feature. Of course, we do not have the detail, but we will start to explain how to use this test feature and the different flavor of the test feature in this chapter. So this test feature is a normal class with a notation for JUnit testing. A test feature is a setup as a class to test your program. You will repeat over the setup test tear down loop. So that's the class, and then you have setup part, you have tear down part, and you do setup test tear down, setup test tear down. That's the flow that you will repeat. And you have the before class set up and after class set up in between the different tests. And in this chapter, we will be focused on different flavors of the test features, and discuss the structure. Test feature, a test feature is a fixed state of a set of objects, used as a baseline for running tests. So a test feature is a fixed state of objects. The purpose of a test feature is to ensure that there is a well-known and fixed environment in which tests are run so that results are repeatable. Example of features are preparation of input data, setup, creation of fake or mocked object. So test feature contains the input setup. Whenever you test the program, you have the same data input or setup for that data class. And then loading a database with specific or known data set. So you supply a certain specific set of data that you test every time. So whenever your program change, you are testing with the same input, same set of data. Copying a specific known set of files creating a test feature will create a set of object initialized to a certain state. So same initial state. JUnion provides annotations so that test classes can have features run before or after every test, or one-time feature that run before and after only once for all test methods in the class. So that's the add before class, add after class, and the add before and add after annotations. Test feature. There are four features annotation. Two for class level features. That's before class and after class, and the two for method level one. That are at before and at afters. A deeper explanation of feature and how they could also be implemented using rules discussed here. Let's go to the demo program in BlueJ for test feature example dot Java. In this program test feature example, we have included the closable class, I/O exception class, after, before, after class, before class, and test classes. And in this test feature example, we have private object managed resource, my managed resource. The class definition is over here. And then there is a expensive my expensive managed resource. That's the object of this class. So basically, there are two class for data are being used for this text feature, and there is a static int top equal zero as a static variable. The good thing for static is when we have different test method over here, test one, test two, each test one or test two, and the before and after, these are different classes. So when they access the variable top. I wanted to access the same copy, so I need to specify this as static. 
So each time in this tag feature, it will start it with the before class. And then before test one, after, and then before test two, after, and at the end we'll go to this after class. In the before class, we actually created a object, my expensive managed resource object. That is a object of this class. At each before class, we have a this dot my managed resource equals new managed resource. Now created an object of this class. So let's look at this. This my expensive managed resource is a shared copy. So each before class will create an object for this pointer to point to. On the contrary, this my managed resource object is actually an instance variable. So each test class would have different object. And then at the tear down, the after class we will tear down my expensive managed resource to cross, cross the object, and then set the pointer to null, allow the object for this pointer to be collected by garbage collection. Same thing for this. But it's done only once for before class, after class. It's done every time when there is one test class begin and end. Right here, because this setup is at the before part, so each time the top will be increased, as shown over here, because this static is a public variable for every test classes. So it will increase whenever the before run once, it will increase by one. So let's run it to see the difference. Right here, this before class, set class, I run once before. The first run, I have zero and one and I did not open the Java virtual machine again. So the first time I enter here, this top will be two, and then, then we increase to three, and the next time we got three and increase to four. Let me clear it and run it again. Because I do not reset the Java virtual machine, so this state variable will be increased every time. Let me clean it, and let me close it, and then we open again. Now I load it again. So let's test it. See, right here it reset to 0 and 1. So static available will get reloaded whenever you quit the environment and reload it again. That static available will be reset to 0. Otherwise, if I clear it and rerun it again, it will follow the next number because this is a stacked variable. So that's good to pass through different test setup. And the test result all pass right here. So the program run from before class and then before and then test one and then after and then before test two and then after and then go to after class. Now, let's change this top to normal static variable. See how it will work. Let's compile it. And let's clean the data. Run once. See right here, it's 0 and 0. That top become a private data for each test class. When you run the before and after, that's one test class. So before and after and test 1. That's one test case. So conceptually, this is one test class, and the other one, test two, is in another test class. It's not the same test class. Although it's written in one test feature example class, but they are actually in two different classes. So this gives you a very good example of the execution flow of a test feature and how to set up the variable you want to test either in the instant variable or stated variable. Thank you.